Hello dears, how are you? Are you staying safe? Are we listening to our parents? Remember, kindness is the best choice ever. Be kind, be safe. Okay, let's recap and revise what we had this week in Connect. Our lesson was about enjoying art and music. Can you guess what he's doing? I see he's enjoying music. This boy is listening to music. He's enjoying what he's listening to. Now, which part of these do we use to hear? Nose, eye, tongue, ear. I know, we use our ears. Excellent. Yes, we hear with ears. Do you know how the music that we hear to is made? We make music by the sound of the musical instruments. Those musical instruments are played with the music players. When they play together, we have a band. Like those music instruments. I have a guitar, a xylophone, a flute, right? And a piano. So, do you know what's the meaning of a band? That's a band. A boy playing guitar, piano, drums, flute, and violin. When they play together and make a nice melody or a song, they play together as a band. So a band is a group of people who play together to make the sound of the music. Now, do you like art? I love art. Art means painting. Paintings and drawing is one type of art. Art is everywhere. Can you guess other types of art? Search for it. Ask your parents. Remember, painting and drawing is just one type of art. <gasps> what a beautiful picture. Can you draw a picture like this? What do you feel when we hear music or see paintings? Happy? Sometimes sad. So different paintings can make us feel different things. Some paintings will make us happy and others can make us sad. So paintings and drawing is how sometimes we express how we feel. It's a very smart way to do it. So if you're angry sometimes, you can draw a drawing and show it to your parents. And when we're happy, we can also express it with a very nice painting. Now, we can hear with our ears, but do you know, there are many boys and girls who cannot hear. Yes, not everyone is blessed with hearing. Hmm. Oh, so uh, tell me again, how do we talk to them? Uh, how do they communicate? How do they talk? We call people who cannot hear us as deaf. So how can we speak to deaf boys and girls? We can speak to them by sign language. What sign language? You see this boy and girl? They are using their hands as they speak. They make sign with their hands instead of speaking the letters and make sounds with their mouth. So we use our hands to make signs to express our thoughts and feelings to them and they will understand. Do you see? Those two girls and boy, they're having fun 
they're talking, they understand each other. They're using sign language. I think it would be fun to learn it. Here are some signs from the sign language. Eat, drink. I think we're familiar with some of those sign languages, with their signs. A sign for eat, it's familiar. Drink, more, please and thank you. You already have a video for them. I'm sorry. Remember, the golden words are always please, thank you, and sorry. Now, can you try them with your parent to be able to speak to any deaf person you meet? It would be fun to learn something new, wouldn't it? Remember, be kind to your neighbor, be kind to everyone, and always choose kindness above all. But wait, do you know what's the meaning of a neighbor? Yep, that's a neighbor. Your neighbor is the person who lives near you. What can we do to our neighbors? Be kind, be nice, respect, don't be too noisy. We must respect them. and avoid annoying them. Let's not be too noisy, it's not nice. We have to avoid any, any, any way of annoying them. We should avoid annoying them all the time. Be as much quiet as you can. Always be a quiet neighbor. Let's not be noisy. Do you see the poor man? He cannot sleep, he cannot talk, he cannot do anything because his neighbor is very noisy. How? Now, can you find who's the noisy neighbor and who's the quiet one? Okay, thank you for playing. And don't forget, always choose kindness. Thank you for listening, dears.